What's up guys, welcome to my channel Next Coat. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I paint this Chevy Silverado in my backyard using inexpensive tools. Not only am I gonna be going over uh, my process, but I'm also gonna be going over my initial investment in this side hustle and how much it took me to get started and how much I've made so far. So um, if this is something that you wanna do, this will be a great resource for you. So this is going to be a two video series. Um, this first one, we're going to talk about body work, filler work, just really prepping the truck for primer. And we're actually going to shoot the primer um, right here in my backyard. So I'm going to show you how I do it and kind of what my setup is. And then the next video, we'll talk about uh, base coat, clear coat, blocking the truck down. And uh, we'll talk about how much I'm getting paid as well. So uh, we'll, we'll see how much I get paid for this job. Like I said, um, I'm very new to this my first full paint job. So I don't even know what to charge the guy. I just told him, hey man, I'm starting out. I'm just starting out. So um, let me let me paint it and then uh, we can talk about price. So we'll see how that goes and I'll take you along on the journey. Um, but enough talking, let's talk about some of the tools I'm gonna be using today. We've got the 17 inch auto body hand sander from Harbor Freight. This is about $8. We've got the Black Widow paint gun with the digital pressure reader. Got this for around $200 on sale. Always look for Harbor Freight coupons. This is a really good deal. This paint, this gun lays really good paint and clear coat. I also got a $50 paint gun from Amazon. Um, it's a 1.8 tip. This thing has worked great. Um, and it's kind of a throwaway gun, but it's worked. I mean, I think I've painted five panels with this, so it's, it's done really well. I've gotten my money's worth with this gun. Um, and then we got a six inch DA sander from Husky. Um, I got this at Home Depot. I think it was about 80 bucks. Got it on sale as well. So the only tools that I have from an official auto body paint store um, are, is my Durablock set. This was about 80 bucks. And the only reason I have it is to get into these tight little nooks and crannies and makes my job a little easier. But I think this is well worth the money. Um, I think I spent 80 bucks on this entire set and um, I highly recommend that you buy this. Um, it's very, very helpful, but you can do the entire car with this or by hand. So let's talk about the steps that I take in order to get a really clean paint job in your backyard. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna wash it with um, some Dawn dish soap just to get all the wax and grease off. And uh, that way you don't sand it into the paint and create problems down the line. Then we're gonna take a Sharpie and I'm gonna mark all the dents that are on the truck because once you start sanding, you're not gonna be able to see them. Then we're gonna get the DA, sand down all the dents, and then we're gonna um, do some body work. And I'll check in with you when we get to this stage. So this is our first dent that we're gonna take care of. You can see I sanded it all the way down to the metal. Take our stud welder. Got your stud in there. Get the slide hammer. Stick it in there. Apply some pressure and you're gonna knock down the high spots. The objective here isn't to, you know, pull this dent out, it's to knock down the high spot so when we put Fondo over it, you can feather it out and sand it out smooth. Okay. And I'm gonna do that to the rest of the car.
wax and grease remover. And so um, once you knock down all the high spots, I ran over it with some 80 grit sandpaper. And now we're gonna go ahead and bondo it. So I use Z-Grip um, filler. The uh, It's a lightweight filler, it's pretty good, Evercoat. So we're just gonna get a little bit. Get your activator needed a little bit. And then just make yourself a line. I like to put a lot because I, I like to sand as soon as possible. And the more activator you put in there, the faster you can sand. Make sure to try to feather these edges in or you'll be fighting them the whole time trying to sand them after the bundles dried up a little bit you're gonna take your hand sander and this is uh from harbor freight eight bucks pretty good then you're gonna take your 180 grit And then we're just gonna sand it flat and fade it into the old paint. See how everything's feathered out real nice. Still got some areas up here. I'm gonna add one more coat just to fill up any pinholes and then we're good to go. And then we're gonna do the rest of this um, for all the other dents that we have. All right. And you should end up with something like this. So this is with 180 grit and um, I kept on sanding till we feathered out these edges and everything was flat. And the way you wanna check it is you wanna close your eyes and you just wanna make sure you don't feel where the transitions are from the paint to the filler and i'm closing my eyes right now i can't feel where it's at so that's that's good to go and so um, i'm gonna go ahead and take care of all these other little dents and then um, i'll get back with you when we're ready to shoot the high build primer <laughs> guys so i went ahead and finished all the bondo work on this truck um everything's been done bondo work takes so long man because you have to lay the bondo down let it dry sand it feather it out and then lay another coat if you need to and then feather it out again so um the bondo work just takes so much time but um in my opinion it's the most rewarding and the most fun because um once you're done and you you can close your eyes and run your hand across this fender and you don't feel any of the dents. 
So in my opinion, it's the most rewarding part of the job. Um, just taking care of everything and, and um, you know, taking your time here really gives you that mirror glass finish in my opinion. So um, yeah, it's coming on good. Um, one thing I wanna note about the drop trucks, um, if you have like a four six drop like this truck, I just recommend sanding this all the way down to the metal. Um, as you know, man, there's there was a whole bunch of rock chips here and I, I just, you might as well just get it all the way down to the metal. That way you're insuring yourself and uh, making sure that there's no rust behind there and you get a nice clean paint job. Um, it takes a little bit of extra work and you have to get under there and get a little dirty on the dirt, but um, I feel better about it and it's gonna um, make for a cleaner paint job. Um, so yeah, man, that's uh, pretty much everything for the body work and let's talk about the next steps. All right, guys, let's go over the next steps that we need to take um, in order to prep this truck for primer. So now that we got all the body work done and everything is nice and flat, um, we're going to need to prep the rest of the truck. So we're going to take our DA sander with 220 grit sandpaper and sand the entire truck um, and make sure that there's no glossy parts. We basically want the truck to look just like this. No shiny parts, everything nice and dull, just ready to grab that paint. And then we're gonna use our Bulldog Prep. This is a water-based cleaner. Um, it also has an abrasive in it. So what this is gonna do is gonna take the oil that your fingers leave on the truck out. Um, and like I said, it has the abrasive in it. So we're gonna combine that with a um, red scuff pad. So this acts as an 800 grit sandpaper. So with these two combined, you know, you're really making sure that the paint is gonna have a great surface to grip onto. You're gonna scuff the surface up with this really well. And you know, you're gonna take out all the oils that your skin may have left on the vehicle. And then after that, we're gonna take our solvent based cleaner and uh, make sure that we clean the entire truck with this. Um, this pretty much takes off everything else that this didn't. So this is our last and final step before we shoot the primer. After we clean it again, um, I'm gonna tape it up. And then once we get it into my paint booth over there, um, we're going to shoot it again with this. So if you can ever be too clean, I'm gonna probably shoot this three or four times. So um, yeah, man, stay tuned. All right guys, so I went ahead and washed it um, and I'm letting it just sit here in the sun so it can dry up. You don't wanna get Bondo too wet because um, it's a porous material and it soaks in that water. So I'm gonna let it dry up for a little bit and then um, I'm gonna start taping it up and, and um, hopefully we'll shoot the primer today. That's the plan. guys we're in I'm gonna start taping up I'm gonna start taping this thing up I already started um, on this side with the window and um, yeah we're gonna 
lay down some tape and then I got some uh, plastic sheathing to go over and we're gonna shoot the primer today so pretty exciting pretty exciting stuff make sure everything looks good all your bundle work looks good um, I, I had started on this fender and I went on a trip and I don't want to leave the bare metal um, to accumulate rust or anything like that so I went ahead and took care of this one um, he's gonna get a new tailgate so I'm not gonna tape it up or anything I'm just gonna leave it um, and yeah we're ready I think it's good guys so the truck is all primed up and ready to go um, it came out great I'm really happy with the results um, it's not perfect I'm not an expert and I do have some runs here and there that's the good thing about primer is you lay a, a really thick coat and um, you block out all of your imperfections in the next stage um, and I'll be going over that in my next video one thing I want to note the fenders are gonna be replaced um, they had rust damage on them and it just didn't make sense for me to um, fix that so we're gonna be replacing the fenders I just laid a thin coat of uh, primer so you guys can see the complete truck completely primed out so my total investment um, in this kind of side business that I have is $1,900 that's including my compressor um, the fittings alone just for that compressor it it was I think around $120 just to get that compressor up and running that water and air separator my two guns I mean just the whole list was around $1,900 um, so you know $1,900 is $1,900 that's a lot of money for me I don't I don't make a ton of money but and if you follow my TikTok, you've seen that I've had two jobs so far um, the first one I painted some Jeep doors and the second one I painted the hood and roof of a Chevy Suburban and um, total for those jobs combined I made around $250 oh, hell no, man. What the and that's including a $20 tip that I got from the first job so I know what y'all are thinking, 250 bucks is not a lot of money, especially for my initial investment. But the way I like to look at it is that knowledge and experience that I gained from those first two jobs is worth way more than the amount of money I received. And that's why I'm so grateful that those guys e even gave me the opportunity to paint their vehicles. That knowledge and experience itself gave me the confidence to take on this bigger job. And that's gonna be my mindset as I continue to build this business up. I wanna focus on 
you know, perfecting my craft, um, trying different techniques, trying different products and seeing what works best for me. And I feel like if I focus on that in the beginning, the money will come in and I will eventually break even. And, and I'm sure some of you have noticed the number at the top of the screen that shows the number needed to break even. Um, every video, every job that I get, I'm gonna update that number so you can follow me on that journey. So with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe if you wanna follow my journey and you wanna see the next steps of the truck. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'm out.